Welcome to Healthy Kidney Inc., my channel here. When we have hundreds of videos on how to support normal kidney function and kidney health, the things that you can do that are in your control. So this is a follow-up to another video I did. I did another video about how I cut my protein in my urine in half by following a certain diet. And a lot of people ask me, what, what did I do? What, what exactly did I eat? So that's what this video is about. It's the exact diet that I did that really helped me cut my protein in my urine in half. So um, now with this diet, it doesn't mean everybody with kidney issues should do it. Okay? Really, this type of diet, which is a very low protein diet, should be done by people in stage three kidney disease or later. You have to be stable metabolically stable and your health stable. May not be a good diet for diabetics, okay? Hard to control blood sugar often. Not that there aren't versions out there of low to very low protein diets for diabetics, but generally it may not be the right approach for a diabetic where they might wanna add in some plant-based proteins. So just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you should do it, okay? And if you do decide to do any diet, make sure you get before and after blood work. But let's get into all those foods. So what did I have on this diet? I had oatmeal okay, with blueberries, fresh and frozen. I had a lot of pineapples. Okay, I had two slices of a low sodium bread with either a vegan butter or a regular butter with uh, no salt added. I had a lot of vegetable soups. Okay, I made a lot of vegetable soups. Okay, the vegetable soups were just loaded with vegetables, okay, from broccoli to cauliflower to cabbage to some onions to potatoes. So I had a lot of vegetable soups. Uh, vegetable dumplings, one thing I had often. I was doing brown rice, white rice, just a whole assortment of steamed vegetables over it. Um, I did eat that meal out a couple times, and for a little bit of flavor, I did use a little bit of soy sauce. Now, soy sauce is generally a super no-no for kidney disease because of high sodium. But I did only use a little bit of the packet, um, so I was able to stay within my sodium content. Everything that I ate on this diet was low sodium, okay? Sodium is so important. I did cereals, okay, like Cheerios. I did a lot of high fiber cereals with rice milk. Um, raw vegetables with a little bit of hummus, okay, lots of fruits you can do. With the hummus, you do want to watch it not to have too much because you don't want to get uh, too much protein. Uh, salads, okay, lots of salads with all types of low salt dressings and all types of vegetables added in. Wasa crisp bread, okay, I, I like to use the uh, light rye wasa crisp bread. Okay, it's like a hard cracker. Um, you can use a vegan butter, you can use a little bit of hummus, you can use some no salt butter. Okay, that's a great snack. Uh, I did a little bit of wheat flour pasta um, with a little bit of marinara sauce. A lot of times I use oil. They okay, use like an extra virgin olive oil uh, with vegetables added in. Grape leaves, something you can do. Grape leaves are excellent, low protein. Uh, I had some french fries. Okay, they were baked, so that was okay. And I don't need to like uh, double boil or boil or do anything to leach the potassium off because my potassium is completely fine. And I'll talk about potassium in a moment. Um, rice, roasted potatoes. Sometimes by my, one of my offices, I have a little, uh, it's like a buffet type uh, supermarket. Well, they have everything in the supermarket, they have a little buffet section. So I'll have a little bit of rice. Uh, I'll have a little bit of roasted potatoes. I'll definitely have, they have like a roasted vegetables. Now with eating out, that is gonna be a high sodium meal, but as long as the rest of the day, I keep my sodium low, I'll be within 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams per day. So that's pretty much everything I ate on a very low protein diet. Um, lots of water, make sure to drink lots and lots and lots of water. Now with this diet, you're gonna see that I didn't really restrict potassium, I had whatever I wanted. I don't have a reason to restrict potassium. You only restrict potassium if you have a reason to. That's what the current recommendations are. Phosphorus, because I was having whole grains um, and some simple refined grains, I didn't really have to worry about phosphorus because it's not going to absorb from the whole grains. Now, I did cheat a little bit as the weeks went on. It was harder to stay on the diet. I'm still on it, um, but I did add in a little bit of other foods. So I had a couple of cheat meals that weren't the best. Okay, I went to a party, had two slices of pizza. But if you figure if you have a bad meal, one, and the whole week is good, you're okay. You know, that's not going to be an issue. Um, I had some salmon another time. So in about four weeks, I had about three to four uh, you can say cheat days. Even salmon is not bad for you, but it's still not part of a low to very low protein diet. Make sure you take a multivitamin if you're going to try this. You have to take a multivitamin because you're going to be lacking some nutrients. Okay, You're missing a lot of things in your diet. So you definitely want to have a multivitamin. You stay on a diet like this for any period of time. You need to take essential amino acids or keto analogs of essential amino acids, which is broken down protein without 
the protein waste, the metabolic waste. Okay, I was taking some essential amino acids. That's where I'm at now. I raised uh, my protein a little bit more in my diet because it was just more, it was just easier. Um, I'll get a blood test in the end of December. And I'll let you know the results when I get that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now, remember, this was my diet. It may not be the right one for you, depending on your situation. So make sure to check with your doctors, your health professionals, before you make any drastic changes. And if you do make some changes, get the blood work soon after to make sure everything is going okay and to see the benefits and any drawbacks, if any. So thanks for watching to your best kidney health.